I really should be scooping some ice cream, except I don't have the right kind of ice cream to scoop because I'd have to go to Turkey to get some. In Turkey, the standard ice cream is called dondurma, and boy, is that ever an interesting ice cream. Totally different texture from what we are accustomed to eating here because it's very, very stretchy, and it doesn't melt easily. Kind of interesting, and uh, the secret has to do with plants particularly an orchid. But before we get to the orchid, let's talk about why the ice cream is chewy and stretchy. And that's because an extract of, uh, of a tree called the mastic tree is added to it. Indeed, that's where our word masticate comes from because it's linked to the ancient Greek for chewing on something. And uh, a mixture of carbohydrates from that tree uh, makes the ice cream interesting and stretchy. However, the reason that the ice cream doesn't melt easily has to do with the orchid. Orchids are very, very, very pretty flowers. Believe it or not, there are 28,000 species of orchid. I'm not sure whether or not this one is the one that is tied to the ice cream, but there is one. And uh, the link is the roots of the orchid. And the roots, which actually resemble the male testes are very, very interesting. In fact, you know, our term orchidectomy for removal of male testes comes from the same, same root. And if we go back to the Middle Ages, the great sage Paracelsus, who you may have heard of because he coined the expression, only the dose makes the poison, had an interesting idea about uh, plants. He thought that nature gave us clues about what plants would be beneficial for health. And if a part of a plant resembled part of the human body, it would be beneficial. So the foxglove plant, for example, has leaves that resemble the heart, therefore it was supposed to be good for the heart. And the roots of the orchid resemble the male testes, and therefore they were supposed to be aphrodisiacs. However, that is not why they are put into ice cream, at least I don't think so, but an extract of the root of that plant contains a chemical called glucomannan. And glucomannan is very, very interesting because it has a fantastic ability to absorb water. And of course, when ice cream melts, it releases some liquid. So if this liquid is very quickly absorbed, you don't get the sensation of the ice cream melting. And this is one of the reasons why they really prefer this dondurma in, in Turkey. But there's a problem. The problem is that orchids are very difficult to cultivate in captivity. So they have to rely on wild orchids to get the roots and they are becoming extinct. And this is becoming a real big problem because it's a very, very pretty flower and people are out there hunting for the roots so that they can make ice cream out of it. It would be great if somehow we could circumvent that and raise the orchids uh, in some way where you, know, you can do it in a greenhouse and, and get the roots. Unfortunately, so far, there are no ways to do that. It's a very finicky flower. It's very hard to keep. And uh, I've had a real difficult time keeping these, and that's why I've switched to that variety. That one is actually made of uh, synthetic chemicals. Of course, for me, that makes it very interesting. However, the roots of the plant do not resemble testes, and therefore, we cannot make any kind of aphrodisiac connection to, to that one. So now, you know the, uh, the secret behind this uh, special ice cream that is sold in Turkey called Dondurma, and the link between the ice cream and the orchid. And uh, unfortunately, orchids are being sacrificed to kind of satisfy our sweet tooth. <laughs>